Welcome to the Big Balloon Festival, and we'll be taking a look today at this rope, the crown line, what its functionality is, and why is it always in the way of all my photos and videos. Inflation. The crown line is mostly in use during the inflation. This comes before the flight, when the balloon has been cold inflated, and hot air is introduced for the first time into the envelope. The balloon moves from being horizontal on the ground to standing vertically and the crown line is used to prevent the rotation from horizontal to vertical taking place too quickly. A member of the balloon crew is deployed to the very end of the rope. Their role is to pull hard against the force of the balloon inflating and standing up. By doing so the balloon will increase in pressure by pulling on the crown line, the rotation of the balloon is controlled. Without the control of the team member on the crown line, the balloon will stand up too quickly and rotate past vertical. This can create some complicated situations, with the basket rotating beyond vertical and even lying down on its back, or with flying wires becoming entangled around the burner. It is important to note that if you get involved in using the crown line as part of a hot air balloon inflation or deflation, that you don't wrap any part of it around your body. Resist the temptation to tie it around your hand or your waist. The balloon can generate significant lift and a passing gust of wind can drag you off your feet easily. When helping out on the crown line, suitable gloves such as leather or suede are recommended to prevent rope burns. Once the balloon has stood vertically, the pilot will issue a command to the crew member on the crown line to bring the end of the crown line into the basket. The pilot can then tie off the crown line to a number of positions, such as the burner frame or the top rim of the basket. From this point onwards in the flight, the crown line has little or no use and should hang loosely throughout the flight. It is connected to the metal ring known as the crown ring at the top of the balloon and to the burner frame or basket, depending on the pilot's preference. Many crews like to use the crown line to display a national flag. But other than this, it serves little purpose other than to tangle in trees as you pass close to the ground. As a result, it is recommended to only use low strength carabiners to clip this rope onto the burner frame. Should the rope become entangled, it can easily break away its connection. Pilots are also encouraged to carry a knife to cut the rope should they need to. Tethering. When hot air balloons are displayed for the public, they are often tethered to the ground. The crown line can at this time serve an extra purpose. That is to stabilize the balloon against the rocking motion generated by the wind passing over the balloon's surface. Because the balloon envelope is a curved surface, lift can be generated by the passing wind and the stationary balloon. This can cause the balloon to rock left and right, but also to lift up and down from the ground. Many pilots will deploy a team member to maintain the crown line to reduce any oscillation in the balloon caused by the wind. They can also call on this individual to pull on the crown line and help with the deflation should wind conditions prohibit the continuation of the display. Deflation. Once a balloon has completed a flight, the crown line once again comes into use. In calm conditions, the balloon will remain stood vertical. The crown line is then used to tip the balloon over at an angle while the pilot deploys the deflation system inside the balloon to vent out hot air. As the hot air escapes from the envelope, the balloon's fabric will become heavy. The crown line will be deployed by the pilot and crew downwind of the landing position of the basket. This allows the wind to assist in pushing the balloon over to the side and the crown line pulls the top of the balloon over, preventing it falling down 
onto the potentially hot burners underneath. Once the balloon is laying flat on its side, the crown line is wrapped up and packed away, ready to be reconnected for the next journey. What other key features of a hot air balloon would you be interested in knowing more about? Leave us a comment or follow a link to one of our other educational videos here at the Big Balloon Festival.